regarding the documentation that you have to develop in your assignment or semester assignment i think so right yes sir all right so let's start here we are going to discuss database documentation and in that documentation we will discuss about the stakeholders how the stake how you are going to make your assignment according to the requirement of stakeholders who are the stakeholders who are the potential stakeholders of your database documentation or that are involved directly or indirectly with your assignment means your database then we will see how your design document or your documentation will meet the design brief how you develop your documentation according to the requirements of your stakeholders so database documentation uh, you have in database documentation you have to take care of your stakeholders and also the documentation types basically document by term of documentation type i want to convert uh, i want to convey you some information about document and its type means for example the software development life cycle have its own documentation software testing or our software quality assurance have its own documentation that will be integrated in your design document to get a brief and completed design documentation according to the client requirement database documentation database documentation is important as it meets according to several requirements of your stakeholders and also it provide a convenient and very easy way to spot any uh, wrong things or any duplications or any mishandle of data or any fault in the entire structure of your database Data, database provides a common language documentation provides a common language between business decision makers and IT personnel two different breeds one is the IT personnel and the second one is business development officer who will take decisions on the reports on the factual information that will comes according to the information stored in your database usually with no common language but with shared ability to read a nice flowchart and discuss it. whenever it person convert that flowchart into simple english language or some other language that is very easy for the next it manager or oh sorry business manager or business development officer or business development executive then he or she will take the decisions easily according to the requirements of their customer or potential end user of the industry the design documentation provides a shortcut to find hot spot let's take a look let's say you guys develop a system related to your database management system or relational database management system and after two months you have to upgrade it with some uh, new apis and you uh, and your customer want to integrate some next level apis or let's say uh, like a metaverse uh, payment integration in it then how you are going to handle it so design documentation can easily give you a structure or the overview of your structure so that you can identify the hotspot at where point at where node at where junction you should have to integrate your api or likewise task first of all by looking at a global functionality chart one can easily outline the most troublesome part of the system in this way educated decision can be made about hardware and software requirement and the outcome can easily communicated to the financial department or 
the IT department if you want, if you identify or if you want some new thing inside your system. Facilitates a no panic rule means, let's say, for example, whenever a new thing or new module comes into the uh, design or the structure of your database, then uh, an user or you can say this major stakeholder will get panicked that this payment or this payment gateway or this module is not present in the documentation while it is present in the logical design that is now physical and regulated on the entire network or get operated in the uh, incorporated or a uh, business organization. By having a proper documentation and using it, the chance of making a wrong decision are diminished because the risk is easier to assess. So there will be no panic among the professionals or the stakeholder or the end user. Any issues, Umar? Till now, my eye here. No, sir. All right, thank you. All right. Design documentation makes the maintenance easier as you, as you identify, as you or the IT professional can identify the hard spot or the red walls easily or the blockage or the bottlenecks. These are also the modern tech terms that are usually used in the industry to identify any blockage, any bottleneck, any trouble inside the system or any operation of the system, okay? Makes maintenance easier and reduces risk when extending or upgrading a system likewise that we have discussed earlier. Reduces training cost by acting as a mediator between newcomers and existing staff. For example, when a consultant or a new hire comes to a company, having up-to-date documentation reduces the chance or the time required from the existing staff to transfer knowledge. For example, when a newcomer comes into a company and he or she wants to insert and delete some old records and want to insert some new records, then this may be a risk for your whole system. So an updated documentation reduces this risk so that she or he can do the task class likewise more ease more easily improves productivity of both newcomer and seasoned employees. Seasoned employees means uh, contra uh, contract label employees, reducing the likelihood of costly misunderstanding by providing glossary of commonly used terms, naming conventions, and even commonly used strategy plan. Like, if you want to delete, in your documentation, you should have to write if you want to delete or update some record or create a new record, then how you are going to handle this operation? So these are the strategies, these are the terms, these are the operations that are usually used in the daily life pattern. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Who will use the documentation? The who means the stakeholders or the business professional or the IT professional, executives and users who. The database documentation must cater for a variety of audience. So there must be a different representation of same documentation for each target audience. You should have to include each and everything in the whole documentation according to the, your audience. For example, you should have to create your documentation According to the end user, you should have to create your documentation for your admin. You should have to create your documentation for the stakeholders like the executives, like the IT professionals who will make the decisions on the basis of the record. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Walk up to the developer or IT person with a pretty diagram highlighted in red. And they will almost certainly prone, means they will get me in trouble. This is simply because a developer or an IT specialist is usually first on the line and logically. When they see red, it means it's a trouble. 
it's a bottleneck in the system. Okay. Database documentation, database documentation must cater for a variety of audience. So there must be different representation of same documentation for each target audience. You walk up to the developer and you have a red line, then it means he means logically he needs to develop or resolve all the issue entire the system or even the structure or in the logical or physical form. This is simply because a developer or an IT specialist is usually first on the line. Logically, when they see red, it tells them there should be some kind of trouble to deal with. For example, let's have a look on the design documentation. And um, you have a red line over the cardinalities of your tables or entities, okay? Then developer, should need to know that the problems are in the cardinalities. Problems is in the redundancy of some data. Due to cardinalities, there should be duplication of data. And he or she needs to remove it in the entire database. So he or she needs to put some cardinalities of one to one inside the entities according to the entities table. So the data will not get be no redundant or no, no redundancy inside the table or the record. And there should be more accurate data inside the database. It is a compelling message. You will be confronted by a defensive wall even before you have to start talking. A wall that will take time to get around. Technical person tends to react much more favorably to a factual consolidation of application logic instead of business mechanics like highlighted in red. For example, if an end user sees the compelling message that data is not entered or database is not configured yet, then he needs to worry why this database system or the whole system or the whole database is doing so. But, and uh, why? The, uh, the error is look like a compelling message. So the data, the user's data, is, or, uh, is that on risk or not? This, this should be a serious problem for the developer and also as well as with the end user. So, but for technical person, he or she must know at which part, at which point, at which node of the structure, physical structure, is having the red part means the hot spot or the bottleneck. So he or she needs to resolve it immediately or itself. In conclusion, uh, yeah, you want to say something? No, sir, it's clear. All right, thank you. In conclusion, database documentation is more important for a wide range of roles like DBA database administrator, tester, your stakeholders, the IT executives, IT specialists, business executives, business the development executives, and also the decision makers who are probably in the high level management of the business and directly connected with the system as a stakeholder, main stakeholder. Database documentation is one important for a wide range of roles. We have already have mentioned technical staff, business executives, IT specialists, but there's a whole other set of people involved in the work process, such as external consultant or on the business or on the IT side. Means, for example, uh, let's uh, take an example, Abdullah. Abdullah is, uh, you can say, uh, IT side consultant who is using the database as for test purpose or just for entering his or anyone else means like just like the data entry operator. He wants to uh, enter some data and whenever he uses the database management system, he will be the stakeholder with respect to your database. Auditors, 
and even potential buyers of the company potential buyers by the potential buyers of the company for example the whole maharud beer company is sell by the owner and now the new owner needs to know how this database assalam alaikum sir wa alaikum assalam who is this abdullah all right thank you abdullah assalam alaikum farhan how are you alaikum assalam sir alhamdulillah good how are you sir i'm good thank you all right so we were discussing why the potential buyers are in this list so for example the maharud bees owner told this company to some new client or from the client from the malaysia or some other countries and the new admin or the new owner needs to know how this database is configured how this database is developed which language in which language or in which database language this developer database is configured and developed from scratch to till now and and if he wants to extend this database with some software applications or want to add some new modules in this then how he or his it team needs to do with this dbms so in this way potential buyers of the company are in this list however it is important to remember that representation of documentation has be has to be tailored according to the target audience if you want if uh, you want to include end user then you should have to make your design documentation according to the end user and need to need to integrate that documentation into the parent design documentation that you are developing for the client brief means for your assignment for your admin then your uh, database administrator tester customer end user it specialist business executive and the potential buyers of the company these are the roles that i have mentioned in your assignment for your help if you have any question till now any one of you then you can ask is fine sir all right farhan which part you need to repeat it seems okay thank you you have to develop your design documentation and in which roles you have you need to develop it the first one is for the potential buyers of the company means for the master admin there are many roles inside or you can say a user role inside your system the first one is master admin the second one is admin means database admin is for this is for database administrator the next one is editors who can do only edit inside your database the next one will be the customer or the end user okay and there is also there there is also a role for database testers and the that database tester have the same role as the editorial role okay so you should have to develop your document design documentation for the same roles and your master admin or your system master admin will need to know which and which user role needs which type of design documentation you cannot assign end user documentation to your customer okay you cannot assign database design document database admin design documentation to your editorial or the tester for the tester roles you cannot assign uh, customer or the end user design documentation to some business executive or the it specialist or the tester the ones who will test who will directly involve with your database management systems okay 
but there's a whole other set of people involved in the work process such as external consultant like data uh, data entry operators who are actually the consultant who are entering the record on the behalf of the customers auditors anyone potential buyers of the company however it is important to remember the representation of documentation has to be tailored according to the target audience you should have to keep in mind the last point of this slide okay anything else anything else guys that you want to discuss no, sir all right so let's move on the next slide design documentation types they were the most common classification of the different aspects of your design database documentation is by tier application logic documentation you but you need to develop in the documentation application logic documentation how this application will get developed by you how the database logic you implemented in that in the uh, logical design to physical design there is also a hardware environment documentation on which hardware you specify as a developer this would get installed and will run then you can do maintenance and then if you have any error planning means error controlling mm -hmm. error handling means exception handling the proper word is exception hand handling is done by you in this dbms or not and then the testing okay basically the error handling means basically the error handling is the simplest term and the technical term for using error handling is exceptional handling okay guys are you done yes sir continue all right thank you okay different like of level of documentations exist at different stages of project for example there is a project of planning documentation which is used as a common language between the business department and the technical department because it's the planning documentation project planning documentation. okay there is a development life cycle and you should have to document it during the development of new modules finally there is a de deployment documentation in which you have to configure you have to write how you can configure and how you can deploy means if you want to deploy it on the linux then how you can deploy it and configure it if you want to deploy or can configure it it on windows or in some other of unix okay then how you are going to deal with it so these are the steps you have to write in your design documentation which ensures that the releases and release updates are not an unpleasant surprise for an user basically whenever a uh, update is near to uh, you can say evolve or upgrade for a software then an user will not take it or will not download it. so this will be a uh, great or huge hurdle that will be in your way to develop your dbms the process of defining documentation model is critical as parts of it will reflect the unique requirements goals and resources of particular organization but in here organization matter be you have to uh, you have full resources and you have to you have some requirements you have to develop it according to some goals it will vary according to the point in time at which documentation is created whether for example it is the part of development process or whether it is a retrospective gift for the 10th anniversary of the existing project or organization after the 10th year how you are going to change it how you are going to amend it how you are going to uh, present it okay any question no sir all right thank you so 
following topics will be covered from the link given below that I have mentioned for you, for your ease, how means the methodology you are going to do it. Before starting the documentation, that you have to done questionnaires, detailed documentation, then a documentation template. If you want to use some template, then you can do so, but keep in mind your documentation will be and must be completed on the time. Where should that design documentation be kept and how should it be distributed means where you cannot distribute it to the end user. You cannot distribute it without the permission of your DBA or the master admin means the uh, owner. Without the permission of owner, you cannot distribute in the public. How to encourage the use of documentation if you want or end user want to do some operation or tester or the DBA want to do some next level or next level integration of operations or he or she wants to include some new modules or introduce some new payment gateways, some new other data storing techniques inside your database. Guys, if you, if any one of you have any question in your mind or for your assignment, then you can ask. Okay. Guys, do you have any question? No, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining the class and thank you for your time. Take care. Allah. 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 Allah.